Today I'm reviewing The Wastelands, The Dark Tower, Book 3. With magnificent full-color illustrations by Ned Dameron. With The Wastelands, the third masterful novel in Stephen King's epic saga, The Dark Tower, we again enter the realm of the mightiest imagination of our time. King's hero, Roland. The last Glenslinger moves ever closer to the dark tower of his dreams and nightmares. As he crosses a desert of damnation and a macabre world that is a twisted mirror image of our own, with him are those he has drawn to this world. Street smart Eddie Dean and courageous wheelchair bound Susanna. Ahead of him are mind rending revelations about who he is and what is driving him. Against him is arrayed a swelling legion of fiendish foes, both more and less than human. And as the pace of action and adventure, discovery and danger pulse poundingly quickens, the reader is inescapably drawn into a breathtaking drama that is both hauntingly dreamlike and eerily familiar. The Wastelands is a triumph of storytelling sorcery <coughs> and a further testament to Stephen King's novelistic mystery. And I'll show you guys some of the pictures on here, which I kind of liked. Um, looking for the one I actually wanted to show. The one with maybe oh, right here. I'm fucking right there. So I pretty much would give this a four stars on Goodreads, I believe. Um, the pictures are pretty cool. Despite the fact the book came out in, I believe it was in the 90, early 90s, late 80s. Uh, let's see. 1991 by Stephen King. Illustrations, copyright 1991 by Ned Dameron. Um, the book's good, I guess. Four stars. My favorite part so far was at the beginning where the first, I think his name was Mir, Mar, something like that. The giant bear who was part, like a guardian one of the guardians of the world uh i like the animal symbology i like the fact that spoiler alert a nuclear war happened here and they kind of give you the history of the world and time moves on so i think any buddhist could really enjoy this book and the world moved on and the world moved on so yeah um it's cool the universe building is just exceptionally good. It's kind of strange for me because I'm so used to Stephen King being a horror novel, uh, horror novelist. That came out wrong. A novelist who writes horror series or books. Uh, I do kind of think there's some weird overarching themes in all of his series, and I think it all goes back to the Dark Tower. I'm trying. To, I was trying to sit here thinking. I'm like, how does it Pennywise get involved in the wastelands? How is the clown from It involved? And the odd thing is, in the book of It, it actually brings up the turtle, which is kind of strong. Imagine the turtle of enormous girth upon his shell he holds the earth. You do not remember the faces of your father. The face of your father. So that was good. I like that. And I'm reviewing something completely different in this video because I know I have a tendency to make like two or three minute videos. So I'm also reviewing Gretchen Rubin's Outer World Intercom. Declutter and organize to make more room for happiness. It's pretty much riding along the coattails of the minimalists. Uh, it says Gretchen Rubin has found that getting control of our stuff makes us feel more in control of our lives. And when we tailor our approach to suit our own particular challenges and habits, we're able to create the order that will make our lives happier, healthier, more productive, and more creative. So this is a self-help self -help book. It's along self-help, personal growth, and happiness. Uh, so there it is. It's the cover looks like. It was okay. I mean, just about all self-help books are the same. But then again, I'm on BookTube, so you know, being on BookTube usually means you have serious problems with hoarding books. But who doesn't, right? Uh, so, it was nice to be on here. And I look forward to your comments below. God bless you guys. And I'm going to be uploading this, I believe, on Tuesday or Wednesday. So, we'll have to see. Uh, Alright then. Take care of your guys' selves. And I will see you soon, I guess.